We'll be going over a neat trick on how to change the blending mode of a vector layer to clip the layers below it. This technique can also be used as a way to create vector masks. The first thing we're going to do is to create a shape layer above the layer we'd like to clip on. We'll do this by drawing with the oval shape tool, which will automatically create for us a new shape layer. Once your shape is looking good, change the blending mode of the new shape layer to Destination In. This is the magic blend mode that clips everything below the layer. As you can see, the image of the girl is now clipped by the constraints of the shape layer. We could add new shapes or even add text to our layer, which would also clip the layer. Now what happens if we want to add a new layer behind all of this? So let's go ahead and click the plus button in the inspector palette to add a new layer. And we'll use the fill tool to fill it with white. And now let's drag it to the bottom of the layers list. As you can see, nothing is being drawn through. We can fix this by moving our shape and the layer with the girl on it into their own group. And then change the blending mode of the group from pass through to normal. By putting the layers together into a single group, this tells Acorn to squish the images together first before drawing them on top of the layers below it. This technique is really useful for non destructively using shapes to clip parts of your image, similar to using a layer mask.